Hey Maxim.com, we're here with Dave Salmoni from Animal Planet's Frontier Earth. He's a large predator expert who is going to tell us the deadliest things about big cats. Safety is my job. You hear that? That's a chuff. It's a greeting. So if you want to tell him that you're a nice fella, you go right in his face and you go. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. You come up to him and so think he's super cute and he'll attack you. <laughs> oh. oh my okay. god. And once he's got a hold of me, he's got me now. And he's going to probably lick me to death. I mean, even at this size, dangerous. even at this size, he, he's pretty dangerous. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm paying attention to where his teeth are and things. But uh, his adult teeth come in at 14 months, and at that that age, at 14 months, he'll be uh, he gets pretty dangerous. Yeah, you're a good boy. They're like little babies. So as long as whatever whatever entertains them, you sort of learn to talk and answer questions while you have. Okay. See, see that little trick there? Yeah. You stick your finger in there, he can't bite me. No matter what size. Even if he's 550 pounds, really? if I have one finger there, he can't bite me. That's amazing. Poor old Gus is going to get frustrated by it because he doesn't know that yet, whereas the adults are like, oh yeah, he's got his finger there. <laughs> so the first thing I do when a cat starts to bite me, even at this age, I just stick my finger in the side of his mouth and he can't hurt me. So he can sit there all he wants. He's not going to so hurt how me. Much, how much does this hurt when he's chewing here? Like I say, I got my finger there. If I let uh, it go, he, he would break skin. Can I pet his paw? Is that yeah, safe? yeah, of course. Go for it. Oh, there's your buddy. Yeah, bite him instead. <laughs> hey, so how, did these, how did these two become friends? Very often you, you, you put a tiger and a dog together. What happens is you never want to be negative for a cat, but right. you've got to teach him that this type of biting and scratching isn't is appropriate because when he becomes 550 pounds, you know, he's not allowed to be biting and scratching. Right. So these guys, if he, if he was to bite or scratch at the dog, the dog would turn around and bite him. <laughs> okay. So when you had the dog teach him that, you know, things are inappropriate and, and claws hurt and teeth hurt. Uh, but it's also, it's good company. It's no means no for a tiger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no means no for a tiger is a good example. Okay. But it probably doesn't mean the same thing as when you're dating. <laughs>